Hey everybody, check this out. This is my multi-grafted citrus tree. I want to show everyone what's possible in the world of citrus. So the answer is yes, you can grow lemons, limes, mandarins, oranges, kumquats, grapefruits, all on a single tree. It's very, it's very possible and it's very doable with the power of grafting. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let me get in here into the canopy and show you what I did. So the history on this tree is, uh, this tree was here when I moved into this place and it was a sweet lime and I cut it back because the limes were, they were flavorless. They, they just basically tasted like water. So what I did was I cut it back, the tree back to about a foot right there. You see the stump. And then, and then a bunch of shoots came out and I grafted different varieties on each of these shoots. So each of these branches have a different variety on them. So there's one, there's one graft. There's another variety, another graft over there. Let me come around here and show you more. So here's another graft, another variety. Over here is another graft, different variety. This one too, that one too. Here's the newest one I did. That's a Satsuma Mandarin. And yeah, different varieties on the tree. So, so on this tree is the Satsuma Mandarin, the Kino Mandarin, the Ortonic Tangor, the Moro Blood Orange, and the Newell's Clementine. And I, back when I did the grafts, I had very low expectations. I had never done citrus grafting. So I didn't label them. I don't know where on the tree each of those varieties are, but they're all, all the varieties I just mentioned are on this tree. So, but, and we finally have fruit over here. I'm pretty certain this is the Ortonic Tangor because I did some research online and the pictures don't match what, the, what these fruit look like. So this has got to be the Ortonic Tangor. And this is really delicious. This is a, uh, this is a cross between a, a tangerine and orange. So tang, for tangerine or for orange and this variety this particular variety was discovered in Jamaica a farmer found it growing wildly on his plantation and he he loved the fruit so much he decided to you know uh, make it more publicly available and he named the variety he called it or tanique, which is stands for or for orange tan for tangerine and eek for unique and it is really unique it has amazing flavor and it seems to produce well here in this climate here in Southern California zone 10a 10b i think and it's it's pretty nice fruit and i could you could tell also this is a graft multi graft tree because only this branch here is fruiting the other branches aren't fruiting and if they don't fruit anytime soon what the beautiful thing you can do is you can graft on top of the grafted branches you can create even put even more variety onto the tree uh, on the branches that don't produce so let's let's try one of these i'm gonna pick one and i've been picking them for a while now this, this is the season the season is uh, spring and we're here in April so I'm gonna pick one of these let's get one we'll, and then we'll taste it we'll go inside and have it try it out mmm has a nice citrusy aroma to it uh, from the stem end where I just picked it let's go inside and try it all right guys let's open up this tango and see what's inside look at that Nice deep orange flesh, a lot of seeds, but it's okay, it's worth it. We take some seeds out. By the way, these seeds, you can they're polyembryonic, meaning you if you plant it, you're gonna get uh, exact copy, exact genetic copy. You're gonna you can grow these from seed. Alright, let's try it. That's good. It's good. It has the spiciness and the tang of a tangerine, mandarin, and it has the juiciness and the sweetness of the orange. It's gotten the best qualities of both of its parents, and that's what makes this fruit so good. Uh, after I did more research, I found this this tango has been around since the 1920s, but I don't know why it's not more popular in stores and everywhere. I know it gets exported from Jamaica to other parts of the world, and um, it's uh, it's really good. I have no complaints. So guys, once all this coronavirus stuff ends, I'm considering opening up a, a seed distribution program. I'll start sending out seeds to people who are interested in stuff like this. Because I want people to be able to grow their own food in their own backyard. 
or in their apartment. You can grow this in a pot. You can uh, sit a lot of, I've heard a lot of people fruit citrus in pots, in containers, in their apartments, on their balconies. So the possibilities are there and I want people to be able to grow, grow their own food. All right guys, thanks for watching.